over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for this afternoon, Pat Scorpio, the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do's, LB, a.k.a. Lotta Del Boss, Shutterworth the God, the Go Artist, RingGangRadio.com in the building, building, building. Yes, sir, Ring Gang in the house forever, as it's always. Echo. Huh? <laughs> and as always, you know, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what's good? You know who this is. Your boy, King P. Bodega P. Bodega Box in the building. Ring Gang Radio all day. Let's go. Hey, Bodega P. You know, straight from the sewer. And, you know, although you were just above, we are above ground today. You're not planning on, you know, finding any crime today. Is that correct? I'm in parts unknown away from everything. So, yeah, no. No, no crime today. Yeah, even crime fighters need a little time for themselves. You dig? You know? yeah, it's, 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 it's the Lord's Day and Boxing Day, so. And mental health thing, because that's the popular thing to say. Yes, you know, it's good for it's good for your mental health. Oh no! Oh, you remember Ryan Garcia birthday then? <laughs> Yo, that was actually that, that that actually did pass, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Word though, but National Let's Duck the Fade Day. Yeah, no, he's now he's coming back in what September or October or whatever these niggas are talking about. Against who? Yeah, that's the good question. Like, you know, yeah, you duck the you duck the Fortuna for you duck some other face. Let's see who you actually face it. You know? If it ain't Haney or Jojo Diaz or, or or somebody of that nature, I'm just like yawn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you you had I mean you had your shot to face a hot, you know, hot someone, you know, that you know, that is worth noting and talking about. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, no, as always, Peter, we, we sent you for your service and uh, Conscious Pilot is... <laughs> I, I set out the call for him. Yeah, and so hopefully maybe, you know, Pilot will join us at some point today, you know, you know, to give his, give his little uh, perspective because, you know, he, he stays elevated above the clouds and shit. But um, yeah, you know, after, you know, a couple of weeks where kind of boxing was kind of eh, not where it needed to be, although there were some upsets and stuff to talk about, you know, boxing. You know, we'll pick up again starting next weekend. In fact, we got four. You know, we got four cars, and we've already talked. We've already previewed two of them uh, before, and uh, and we'll get into some more previews. But first, but well, we do want to do a recap on the PVC car last night. And the PVC car, I think, rubbed people, um, rubbed people the wrong way in different ways. Uh, before we get into the biggest thing from that one, uh, Devin Alexander versus Lucas Santa Maria. Now. I was a Lucas. I was a no. Excuse me. I was a Devin Stan. Like as he, like when he was coming, when he got out of the Emmys and everything like that. I I, I thought dude. I, I thought dude was gonna be next. You know what I'm saying? Like he had the Floyd co-sign and everything. You know, and then sit. I mean, which, and then he which, got which, which, is, which is the kiss of death, or it was at one point the kiss of death. I heard, oh, he's gonna be the next Floyd, and I knew he wasn't gonna be shit. And and I like, think people were people, and Floyd is, Floyd said it himself too, which is the thing though, but. Somehow, some way, like, and dude lost script. Like, Devin has victories over some of the most dangerous fighters to fight in his era, like 140, 147. Like, dangerous punchers, your Rango, your Baileys, your Maidanas, the Matisse, although that's a gift, but you know, I won't get into that one. But regardless, like, dude has these, dude has figures over dangerous guys, but then he has these, the Bradley one, which disgusted me to no end. I, I, cause I could, I can't stand Bradley. I couldn't stand. But Bradley then he back. fought Matisse after that. Like, how many people doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like he, he goes from that, and then, and like I said, even though I, I mean, he won the fight, even though I thought he lost, but he still put up a showing. And, and then the Madonna fight is clearly his magnum opus fight. You know, because no one has beaten Madonna the way he did. No one. You know, and then for after that, it was just the, the and then after that, it was the Porter fight. The Porter fight took me by surprise because I honestly thought he would box Porter off at that time. Uh, I I still I have the fight downloaded too. I don't even like watching it. You know, it, it's like it was it, a rough it, ass fight. Man. It was, yeah. Porter basically roughed the belt off him, and then the Khan fight. Good lord, Khan had one. Khan was, uh, you know, if only Khan had actually took the title fight when he was supposed to, rather than a fight that he didn't need, that he didn't need, but. Regardless, he beat the shit out of Devin. Like, I mean, that's, you know, that's, you know, that was, there's no other ways you can say it. And then he started losing to jobbers. 
the Martinez fight, it, it, which just made me sad, you know. And then, you know, and eventually, I think he developed a painkiller addiction, you know. And that, you know, and then that I was like, okay, that's the reason why he's, you know, he was so off. Because yeah, he was having struggle fights with Soto Carras. Yeah, he of all people. Yeah, it's like. You know what is wrong with him? Like it turns out he was. So Carras crazy. had a good little surge of career back then, though. <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, he did knock out Berto when Berto was a thing, still. You know, um, but yeah, Soto Carras, yeah. But after the Thurman fight, I think Soto Carras kind of like he, he, you know, he took too much of a beating in that fight. I think that kind of, you know, yeah. that was like near the end. But Devin, in those you know, damn um, what's that fight um, comma uh, guy. Yeah, comma guy fight. Yeah. Two of them back to backs, like yeah. Yeah, the punch fuckery in that one was a, that was ridiculous, man. But Devin, though, you know, after the Martinez fight, he was away for a couple years, and then he had his last victory in 2017. You know, and on a, it was, I think it was in the Florida card too, if I remember. Wasn't it on the Thurman um, Colazo card? Or some I'm other not card? even sure. Like, didn't he lose to Martinez? Or we're talking about when he came back to, I think, Walter Castillo. Yeah, when he came back. I, Either way, he was definitely in Florida. I do remember. Yeah, he that. was looking good around that time. He beat Castillo. Yeah, and then afterwards, he, and then afterwards, he got jobbed against Ortiz, which was like, yeah. And this is where I think PBC kind of devalued him as a fighter. And then the horrific gift that he got against Berto. Um, yeah, so he got jobbed twice in a row. Then it's like he stopped caring, speed up. Ivan Redcash gets a, a knockout victory over dude in the most unexpected knockout uh, the, yeah. in the history of PBC. Yeah, and, and he was winning that fight too. So now we got Santa Maria. And then funny things too, that fight was supposed to be a 147 fight, but Devin did not make weight like at all. Like he was like he, he was like 154, 155 or some shit like that. He was too. Look at look how solid his body looked. Like he was lifting weights for that fight. Like Hell this is yeah. the biggest I've ever seen him. Yeah, like dude. I mean, dude looked solid. Like dude looked like you know, he could he could be a wide receiver in, in the NFL. So, like dude was like but overall, it was it was a boring ass fight. Like, it, but it was one of those fights where it should have been some separation. And there was yeah. I mean, neither guy looked better than the other. S- Santa Maria, he he pulled away toward the second half. But it wasn't like he ran away with it. He kind of just pulled away with it by a couple steps. Right. Yeah, the fight, no, but... fight was real. Cl- fight was real close, but the scorecards would make you think you saw them the Zoo Can Lee Wood fight or some shit. I'm saying too, like was it two ninety eight, ninety twos on ninety seven, ninety three? Like and you could make a case for Devin winning the first four rounds. Exactly. Like at this, least this, the first two, for, for definitely. But that was the thing I was I was I was, I was fearing too that because PBC devalued his name so much that they were gonna, that they were gonna make him uh, an enhancement talent, a jobber to the not even he's look Santa Maria isn't even a star like a jobber. You yeah, know, he's an advanced jobber. You know, he has some upside, but you yeah. know, if you're if you're Devin Alexander, and you're supposed to be serious about your comeback. You're supposed to beat this guy and. He it, honestly, I don't even think it's a physical thing with like Devin looked like he still got all the moves. It's just he couldn't. It's like he wasn't really following the instructions of his trainer, and he just fought the wrong fight. And now you're yeah. kind of like, where does he go from here? Yeah, I mean, it's like I mean, he's like he's he it basically is he's twenty seven and seven and one. Like I mean. That I mean, he's he's he, I mean, that's that, that he's getting towards a journeyman record, and this is a two division champion. And he's thirty four, and if I think so, you don't know, you don't realize how long he's actually been in the sport until you say he's thirty. He's an old thirty four. He's not, you know, he's not a prime thirty four. He's an old thirty four. Like dude's been around for a hot minute, and fought, and fought who he's fought. Like he's, I mean, and, and it's it's actually kind of sad too. Like I mean, he, I mean, he's he's almost washed up at this point. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. He don't fight or look washed up. Like he looked in shape. Yeah, he was moving. It just, I, I, I guess it's, it looks more like a mental thing than me. But you know, that's what controls the body. And if right. you can't double jab a guy like that consistently, or or let your hands go on him and stick to a game plan, then it might be time for you to you know call it a day. Right. Yeah. I mean, dude doesn't. Yeah, dude doesn't need to have. 
a shitty doesn't need to top with a shitty record. Like twenty seven and seven is not a record for does not really reflect that dude's talent, what he was as a fighter in his prime. Like yeah, you might it might be time to you know to stop you know like hey, okay you know this is it for me you know let me at least get one fight where I can get I can get a win and go out with the win because he's he's capable of beating somebody but you know PBC is you know they they're gonna make him a name of opponent and you don't want that to see that you don't want to see that happen. Yeah. So um, with that said, uh, I wish him the best and um don't know if I'm ready to see him on another televised card. Yeah, no, yeah, because because like yeah, that that I mean, that fight was kind of a chore to watch because it was like it, it was and leads up to um another well, the, the next yeah, fight. A, well, I mean, I was gonna say there's another washed up fighter that we should oh, that we also too that we don't, we don't think um, needs yeah to. from the same era actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's amazing too. Like people used to say, people used to clown top rank or whatever, you know, for for them like having older fighters on there but pbc has been doing that for a hot minute and the fact that we have uh, this uh, uh Lazo and alexander on a card like you know is this 20 and not fighting each other exactly they should have been fighting each other like i don't know what was the point of this fight but yeah and they, they, they had Colazo. i mean they put Colazo in with one of their actual dangerous prospects you know amata stanionis you know, and you know, in Colazo is 40 years old. Dude has been put through the ringer, like you know, like dudes fought damn near anyone that was anyone in his era. He got jobbed a couple times, got jobbed against Birdo. <laughs> you know, got jobbed against I don't know, but that Birdo fight was close, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. That could have gone either way. I don't think that was a straight up job. Like niggas throw that word around so much. Um the Hatton fight was close. Let's not act like he didn't get knocked down. I think the ref more kind of fucked that up. I mean, that was the one where Hatton was almost knocked out, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, it's like, that's, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean honestly, Klaza with probably a few more notable wins, you know, and we have a different career, though. But, dude, yeah. but dude, I mean, he fought on, and you can, I mean, he did have a little late resurgence in the end, but clearly, like, you saw him in the ring, I guess, Stanios, like, he had nothing. Stanios. I mean, Senios himself wasn't even all that sharp, but you can, but the shut, but you can clear that. Bro, what the fuck you watch? The dude was whooping. Like... No, I mean he's not as sharp as I thought he would be. Like, I mean, I mean, I thought he would at least drop Colazzo, like legitimately. He was working on it, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, that jab thought... was sharp as fuck. He was, he was letting them hands. He was just running off combinations, the body punches. Colazzo was landing a consistent uppercut. But he was also he was also shoe shining a lot too. Like I mean, yeah. And, and the and the announcers were acting like he was really doing something. Like no, he's not doing. Stanley is eating them shits. Like I mean, it, it didn't even mark him off or nothing. The uppercut like was the only thing that seemed to do something, and he was throwing some good body shots too from time to time. Um, I wish he got in the right hook a little bit more. Like he, he had his hand down too much where he could only shoot it to the body. But if you'd have shot it over the head. He'd have probably got some good temple shots with the the right hook, but yeah, the thing is too, like Colossal's playing. I mean, he actually stood in the pocket and was actually doing was trying to work with this dude. So yeah. I was just like, I was like, is that even smart? And he got busted up for his eye got busted up. You know, it was like, I mean, you could see like he was getting slowly busted up in like his fight. And then of course, the it ended before the fourth round ended. You know. Um, Colazzo led with his head and he did initiate the headbutt because I was like wait a minute that's a headbutt then when he showed the replay I was like yeah that's Colazzo did that shit he did that shit on purpose <laughs> and, and you know I mean it looked accidental though I mean uh, I mean it, 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 I mean, depending on the, how, he, how he also acted after that I mean he went down from the headbutt because usually cats I mean yeah you go down from the headbutt obviously you can be shook up you know and this by, just by the way he was acting it was like it was almost like his last fight he was kind of milking you know his injuries a little bit um, he kind of did he kind of did and he kind of yeah. definitely led with his head so i'm like yeah. it, was, it was incidental but i mean when you lead with your head like that i mean i'm not surprised at the result yeah yeah and he should have know better like he's a veteran so yeah but i also i think he pulled some veteran shit too because the ref was like hey man you no know, if you can't you know he was trying to get him like if you can't you know if you can't like be steady like i gotta call this fight and this dude was out there, you know, doing this little wobbly stuff and whatever. And I'm he like, knew he, he, he knew he couldn't hang with Stan Yosis. So yeah. he, he called called it an early night and called it a career. And then after it was, that, it was, inco- it was convenient for him, too, because, you know, you have a, a 
a no a no no contest instead of the fucking you know TKO. Yeah. So, so I it, see you. I see you trying to be slick and shit. Yeah, like I mean, do know what it is because after that, you know, he was walking normally and shit like that. Like you know, you should catch that. In, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, like, dude, I mean, not even not once was he wobbling. So, so yeah, I mean, Claus, I mean, yeah, he he found a way out where he got paid. And he got no contest, and he didn't get another L in his record. So, but it, it was the most entertaining fight of the night, though. It, it was, you know, it certainly was, you know. And like I said, Klaus has been in a lot of good scraps, you know, and over the years. I mean, he's had some, he slept walk, but he's had more than enough good scraps. So, I mean, hopefully that, you know, this is the end. He doesn't get tempted to come out, and then you know he mm-hmm. goes off into a happy retirement, you know. Uh, that's it. Any more fights, it better just be between him and uh, Devin Alexander, and not, yeah. you know, sharing the card. Yeah, exactly. You're like, you're, you're that's like, it. Like I'm kind of like, y'all gotta start recycling these niggas. Y'all could give, y'all could give uh, upper comers or different fighters these these spots. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, and then speaking at least you'll about- guarantee more of a better show. You know, with the younger fighters. You know what I mean? Absolutely, and like I said, Colossal. I mean, he. I mean, he did upset some younger fighters, uh, like that, like that army veteran that had the PTSD thing going on. Like, Sammy I mean, Vasquez. Yeah, like he hasn't fought since. You know, I mean, I mean, that was probably like the. Yeah. And then he fought. He fought Brian Pavrella too. That, that I think that was his last victory or something like that. And, that. and he looked good in that fight. You know, he he had his moments, but yeah, putting him against Danny Onis was like a recipe to like get him body. <laughs> you know, but um. Yeah, but yeah, salute Colossal though. Like I said, you know, you know, he's you know, I've seen him fight live before a couple times. So he was there when he actually became champion. So, uh, but yeah, though, yeah, salute to him. Hopefully, he fight. Hopefully, he has a peaceful retirement. Doesn't. I mean, honestly, he's truthfully he should stay away. Like he shouldn't fight anymore. He, he's done. Um, and then you know, and then we have the middle of the fight card, which is the most controversial fight of the night, um, and the most competitive fight of the night. <laughs> oh. As far as, as far as like effort, yeah, yeah, because like yeah. it kept me more watching it than like the first fight was just like yeah, recycle was, mid, yeah. And then so, you know, the, this and, fight at least you saw a contrast of styles, you know. I, I expect more from an Olympian though, yeah, I know, a and lot I, more. And of course, we're talking about Gabriel Mestre, who originally his opponent was supposed to be Cody Crowley, um, but Crowley caught COVID. And then so the brain trust was like, you know, let's, uh, you know, we have uh, Michael Fox and them foxes, like they always be like him and his brother. They're always there as like the standby. Like they've taken so many fights, like on like two, three, four weeks notice or whatever. Like, honestly, honestly, it's rare that you see like, man, like did this dude have like a full training camp for this fight at least? But he was on standby for this fight. And truthfully, you know, Mastre as a pro is like three and oh, three knockouts. And originally he was he, he was supposed to go to um, Tokyo or whatever for the Olympics at 34 years old, by the way. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? But I think but honestly, this is smart. It was smart that he didn't do it. You know, that's fine. So they, I, I think that I think the people behind him are trying to like hot track him towards something because like I say, he's three, and he's already bodied um, fucking uh, Diego Chavez. You know, that's a name you don't really hear a whole lot of these days. Um, yeah, you know, so it's like, yeah, they trying to watch him to somewhere. So yeah, they, they have him in there against Michael Fox, who is a good, capable fighter. You know, someone you know who can easily give you a whole lot of trouble if you're not careful. <laughs> you know, so uh, so pretty much in this fight, that although yeah, it was comp- it was it was competitive on paper. I mean, it, I think it was. I think all of us can actually see that Fox outclassed Mastro. Like it, it was. Yeah, it wasn't even that. It wasn't even that fucking competitive, honestly. No, no, the rounds were competitive, but as far as like on a scoring wise, it wasn't competitive. Like yeah, you're looking though, at maybe 118, 110. I, yeah. I, I think I gave my straight three rounds at best but it wasn't even the, the like like not even the rounds it was just like i found my straight outside of you know doing some body work here and there he was swinging wildly like he just couldn't get in like he like the height just basically the, the height and the jab basically just had him flustered like he was and that's he didn't even get jabbed all the whole night the, the first half of the fight was more competitive but and then and then he was switching he was switching stances and yeah. which did absolutely all of nothing for him. 
you know, I can, that's the one thing about I cannot stand fighters that switch stances just to do it. Like, like dog, like, I mean, it's not going to confuse every fighter. Like, if you're going to switch stances, you got to know you got to have a plan to do it. You got you to work in that stance. Like, you can't be just switching stances just because you hope to, like, to confuse somebody. Like, and that's what Mustard was doing. And that shit wasn't doing nothing. Like, like you know, he made short niggas hold this L. Like, yeah. Yeah, and like, uh, Olympian, he sure looks pretty mid. Yeah, and then, yeah. And, and and then Fox knocked his knocked his ass down. I think it was in the second round, or third round, with a beautiful left. Second round, second round, round yeah. I saw it. Yeah. He kept landing that same punch over and over. Right. You know, and it was just like I was like, okay, and uh, I was, it was like a total score too. And Fox is a lot tougher than he looks. I mean, the dude is like my height, but he's one forty seven, and he's taking body shots. I'm thinking to myself, man, like them five sizes might fold him because that's the only thing Meister was actually that was doing that was actually. Correct. He didn't even land the body shots consistently, though. Like, what happened to cutting off the ring and going margarito for broke type shit? Body, body shots. Like, the dude just follow Fox around, winging wild punches, landing yep. a couple body shots here and there. He landed a good headshot every now and then. So it's like Fox had to stay focused. So that's why I was saying the rounds were competitive to an extent, but you knew one guy was always ahead. Like right, that's yeah. what it felt like to me. Yeah, and then yeah, by the end, and it was tw- it was the only twelve round fight. Like it was like like P said. Like I mean, at the most you can give Mercer maybe at least three rounds, but he got knocked down. Like I mean, the scores could have been. And like, even three might be too much because I, 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 he barely got two rounds to me. Right, like so, like so when the scores were read, like you know they said one seventeen, one ten. Which was is which would be the perfect score for Fox, and then the other one was 115, 112, and which is probably coming too close. But you get yeah. you know, that's better. And then the 114, 113, which is not a good score. But you're thinking, okay, you know, you you always have the one judge that, that goes a little full retard, you know, and you know he's like he saw he saw a close fight. But when they said that when he said that Mestro won that fight, I. Uh, I I think I think whole of boxing Twitter stuff exploded. Like yeah, I, I almost dropped my drink. I, I honestly, I honestly didn't explode because I honestly had a feeling it was going to happen. I was like, watch them give, watch them give him this fight. And the scorecard just to me felt like okay, they're gonna give him this fight. So when they did, I, it, I'm so numb to it that I, sometimes I already know what's happening before it happens. Yeah, but this, awesome. was, but this one, this one was just disgusting because uh, it, it, it looked like I mean. Like, honestly, I mean, this one really feels like a real fix, and especially one of the judges, the one that scored the 117 110. Apparently, she's married to one of the to like a high ranking WBA official, so like there's a whole bunch of fuckery involved. And she's, she's racist as fuck, too. Yeah, and racist. And she's on, on Twitter saying a bunch of calling calling a Michelle Obama a monkey and all this monkey other shit. Hold on, hold on. Her name. put her name out there, yeah, Gloria Martinez Rizzo. Yeah, that's that's the one. Y'all hear that, Gloria Martinez Rizzo? Rizzo. Yeah. And yeah. repeat after me, fuck you. Fuck you, Gloria. Fuck. Yeah, fuck you. yeah she, she she even she even bothered to hide the fuck. She was like, you know what, you know yeah. what. Yeah, and then, and you then, you you blind corrupt motherfuckers disgust me. Y'all playing with people's fucking livelihoods, exactly. careers. Now, if this dude was to go and and commit suicide or some shit, everybody want to be damn holding candlelight visuals or something. You taking right. food off this man's table, his hard on work like that shit hurts my heart to see someone get robbed like that. Yeah, and, so, and, and, so and Gloria, like the, you know, the whole you. crowd like booed him. Like you can see him, like everyone else, you know, you can see him. The cameras on him, giving him dap. Like you could, tell, everyone was telling him, like you know, you won the fight. All the pros were telling him on Twitter, you won the fight. I don't think. I mean, I mean, this was. I mean, people were outraged. Like, I mean, if you outraged. had any, if, if anybody else had dude Fox actually losing, then fuck you too. Man. Right? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, like we yeah. don't need this shit in boxing, man. Like, I'm yeah, disgusted. Like, yeah, and pretty much like the only way Fox was gonna win is either he, he had to knock him out or drop him at least four times to at least to. to... You would have got a draw then, like the four. Yeah. You see them scores? <laughs> yeah. And this is know. one thing. Like, I know I'm a guy who's like, yo, man. If you could get the knockout, go for the knockout. You see how the game is. But every now and then you come across a fight where a guy literally does everything but get the knockout and should win clearly. Right. And he Absolutely. gets robbed. It gets, yeah. So it's not like I'm like, you know, say, oh, well, he could have did this better. 
he did more than enough. Like, yeah, he did more. I mean, he knocked dude down. Like, and he's not even. And he only has five knockouts in his twenty whatever fights. Like, he wasn't even the power puncher in that fight. Yeah, so I'm just. I hate to, you. Hate to see it, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was disgusting to watch, man. I was like, I was like, I was like, yo, fuck, you know, fuck WBA for this. Like, honestly, if the WBA was under your jurisdiction, like they 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 probably someone needs to sue them like they did the IBF back in the nineties, in the mid nineties for fuckery, like you know, yeah, it, it's just, fucking disgusting. I'm just disgusted. That lady. You know, you could fall down a flight of stairs. I would laugh. Like, Hell I yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you. Like, uh, I, I, honestly, yes. I, hope, I hope my straight, like, pops dirty for something. Like, it's like, uh, it's like that, that, that young man yeah, doesn't know. You get investigated, reverse, all of that shit. Like, I'm... Yeah. Well, whatever was the worst decision of the year so far is now eclipsed by this one. Uh, easy. Easy. You know what yeah, Fuck those judges that scored them Estrada against Chocolatito. I ain't forgot about y'all. <laughs> I know you, you guys too. Yeah, but at least who, who, who else I'm missing? Who else I'm missing? Who, who else got robbed this year? <laughs> oh man, nah, that, that's it. Like the, 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 somebody else. Like I know somebody else that got robbed. I, I, mean, know, I know. I know. We probably had some like semantic battles between you know certain fights that we all thought that were kind of robberies. I just can't remember any of them off the top of our heads. But no, but this one was a real. Legit nah, I mean, you, we have our semantic battles usually when there's like a round difference or something. But a robbery is a fucking robbery. Yeah, no, and, and this one was a robbery in a fucking half. Like, you know, even if people say Castano got robbed, you can still make the case for that being a draw. So right, but but this is like ridiculous. Like, yeah, this one was no Vaseline type of robbery. Yeah, fucked. You know what I'm saying? Made like, me feel like I was watching that Master P movie or, or Lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh. that's how bad it was like yeah. ugh. yeah no yeah pbc man like i mean just yeah. spit on your grave type shit like ugh. yeah pbc yeah don't 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 i mean don't don't ever allow that clown back on your on your network again like not straight like let, let him fight in venezuela you know with his interim belt you know yeah. like, oh, you're a disgrace to all olympians and yeah. you know what though i would like to see if somebody get robbed like that the dude who got the give i would love for them to say you know what I apologize for the corruption, but I know I didn't win this fight. You won this fair and square, and I don't even want this victory. Like that's what I need to see, because this is just getting getting out of hand. Like yeah, no, yeah. as a man, as a boxer, as a challenge champion, whatever, you shouldn't want to accept the victory like that. Hell no! Like you, you, you know, if you're getting beat up in a fight or you're losing. Yeah, and, and honestly, how much, how much, how much future do you see in a thirty-four-year-old guy with, with three fights and who's a former Olympian? Like, like, the, uh, like you, you gotta let him get that. You gotta let him take that L so he can actually try to accelerate his learning. Like, he's not gonna learn anything from this. Like, all that, all I know, all I learned from this fight is he, 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 he's aggressive, but he gets hit. He can be boxed up. So it's like I ain't learn shit from dude. I heard he, I just, he's good at unwrapping gifts. <laughs> I ain't right. learn shit else from dude. Yeah, oh, fact. and he's short as fuck. Yeah, fact. Oh, and he probably should have went to the Olympics instead of them get this gift victory. Yeah, yeah, you might as well like get get yourself a medal or some shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah, you probably would have got a gift of that too. Fuck this dude. <laughs> I'm, nah, I'm just God, man. The next subject, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just oh, uh, like yeah. I feel like throwing a flat screen at this bitch. Right, you know. So no, 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 not a flat screen. Throw the let me throw the box. The flat screen came in. Fuck. That. <laughs> Fill the box up with damn rocks or some shit, like some crackhead shit. Like I, I got this PS5. You want it? And that shit filled with bricks. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. If we doing it on the lock style, you know, we gonna drop the refrigerator on this bitch, right? Hell Fuck. yeah, yeah. No, that's fucking terrible. But yeah, we, we definitely gotta move on to the next subject.